the whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Dirk Sigma today. We need to be here today. We're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a Black Ops 3 cutcom. So this isn't just gonna be a regular, you know, type of cutcom video, just commentating while I go through this game and get shit on. I'm gonna be telling you guys a little story. Well not really a story, but something that happened to me. So I'm gonna be telling you guys about my first date. So my first date happened back in the sixth grade. So it's, it's probably not going to be too good as you guys can tell already. So of course when you're in the 6th grade, you obviously can't drive anywhere. And you obviously can't, you know, go anywhere by yourself without having a parent with you no matter what. Just a little background on this, I actually got injured right before I was going to go on my date. Because I used to wrestle, well, I used to wrestle back in middle school still, but I used to wrestle when I was in 6th grade and I kind of hurt my knee. So at the time I actually had crutches, so that's just another downside to the story but so we had it figured out that we were going to go to the mall and that we were going to go and see a movie obviously you know just whatever movie I was at the time I don't remember what the movie was I never realized how hard it was to focus and play the game at the same time like, I'm actually getting absolutely shit on this gameplay but luckily this isn't about the gameplay anyways as you guys can figure it out probably does not go too damn well already but so we meet up at the mall uh, I'm in crutches so I have my mom with me, it's, it's already gonna be bad, you guys can already tell, when you have to have a parent come with you on a date. So I have my mom with me and I have her boyfriend at the time with me as well, and of course my girlfriend shows up, I believe, I don't think we picked her up, if I remember correctly, I believe her mom dropped her off as well, and we were just gonna have her, you know, come on with us. So we go to the mall and we ended up going out to eat, so we go to Friendly's, you know, it's pretty chill, it's just me, her, and my, my freaking mom and her boyfriend, so it's a little, you know, a little weird. Honestly, having two other people at the table with you and you're just trying to chill with your girl. But also at the time, sixth grade, like right now I'm like five, four and a half, five, five. So back in sixth grade, I was about four, I think I was about four, eleven, four, ten. And this girl was probably like five, six. So the height advantage there is uh, quite some difference there, to be honest. But anyway, so we go to see a movie, and I'm a little bitch when it comes to scary movies. I think, I don't remember what movie it was at the time. I know it was really scary. She wanted to see, and I was like, fuck that. We're not seeing a scary movie. We're going to see freaking, like, I think the movie was Jack and Jill. It was like Adam Sandler playing as both the guy and the girl. And it was really, it was really freaking stupid movie at the time, to be honest. But obviously, I'm a kid. I didn't give a shit. I just didn't want to see no scary movie. Look like a little bitch. So I was like, nah, I already saw that movie. Let's go see some else I haven't seen yet. So we get into the movie theater and of course it goes wrong right from the start. We go and sit down. The movie's about to start, you know, it's just playing through the commercials as it always is. And she spills her drink all over my fucking shorts. Now luckily I was wearing black shorts at the time, so it didn't get well, it got stained. Okay, let's be honest, it got fucking stained. It was Pepsi. But it wasn't too bad, you know, it's not like I was wearing white shorts and they got absolutely cooked in the fucking movie theater. Of course, you know, it's not too big of a deal because I wasn't wearing, you know, white shorts, so we just go get her a new drink, and I'm a little bit upset, you know, my pants are freaking wet at the time. As I said before, I was there with my mom and her boyfriend at the time, so when the movie started, my mom has one of those annoying ass fucking laughs. It's like a hyena, you could say. So every time something funny would happen, she would just screech like a damn hyena. So I do the old classic move, you know, pull your arm around like you're yawning or something. You reach it around and you're just like, eh, and you just, you know, put it around her shoulder. But after that, the movie ends, you know, it's not too long of a movie. It's playing like an hour and a half. So we're walking out with my crutches, you know, because I'm freaking injured at the time, which really sucked balls. So we're just walking out, and the way that our movie theater works at the mall, there's like a pretty long walkway. Well, I wouldn't say it's too long. It's like a decent sized walk. It's probably like, eh, I, I can't even say miles or nothing. It's not like that big. But it's a decent distance that you have to walk. So I'm walking with my crutches. And I hit my damn foot. So of course, I fall over. And I'm looking like a dumbass. Because the movie just ended. So of course we have a whole bunch of other people behind us. And I'm just over here face planting on the ground and shit. So once we get out of the mall, we finally get to go home. We take her back to my house about... I think it was about 7.30, maybe 8 o'clock at night. I don't think it was really that late. Because we did go to the mall like right after I got to school. So basically after that, we just chill out, watch some Spongebob, like normal fucking 6th graders do. 
After that, we took her home probably about 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock-ish, I think about then. And then I believe that we actually broke up like a week later, which is fucking hilarious to me. But that is the story of my first date. If you guys enjoyed the video and you guys want to see more story times, let me know. You know, cut comms are actually pretty fun to do, even though you don't really get to see if I get like a quad headshot feed or some shit if I'm not talking. Which I actually did get a quad feed, but it was three lightning strike kills and a headshot. But if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys want to see some more cut commentary stories or just some more Black Ops or Call of Duty videos in general. If you guys want to see some other Call of Duties, let me know as well. I'll see you guys in the next video, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.